everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Lhasa bracelet. It means lace in Irish. Irish. <laughs> and this is what it looks like up close. This is the back side and this is the front side. You can flip them the other way so you can see. Um, I felt like the sides look like lace and the insides too. So I decided to name it that. So this is my own original design. I created it a couple days ago. Um, I posted pictures of it on my Instagram and I asked, um, I posted a picture of this and one other design asking who, which one I should do first and so yeah that was the result. And so you're going to need a hook, four bar pins all aligned, and a C-clip. You're also going to need three colors. Today I am using neon yellow for the like frilly lace parts here. I'll be using, if I can grab a band, um, fuchsia for the neon green or lime green bands here and in here it's the spearmint. I don't know why my camera isn't adjusting but I'll show you what I mean when I place my bands and I'll be using gray for the kind of center in here it's electric blue and in here it's like neon green. Like lime green. I keep saying neon green. So without wasting your time any further, let's get started. So you're going to want to take your frilly color and just put it across those bottom two pins. Now take two of the kind of spearmint color here and you're going to bring it out to the side on the left and on the right. Then you're going to go back to your frilly color place one on each side. Make sure you're pushing your bands down. Now take your other color, your third color, and you're going to take it from this peg and stretch it into this peg. So it's kind of a long stretch. Make sure you're using good bands for this. And you'll do the same thing on the other side. So there's like a little X here, just like that. Now what we're going to do Take your frilly color again, put it across those two pins, grab your fuchsia, go up and out to the outside, grab your frilly bands again, and go to the outside horizontally, grab your gray, and do that little shape in the center. And this is your process, you're just doing this all the way down your loom. So. Once you reach the end, though, I'll kind of tell you what to do. So, place your frilly band in the middle. Place those. Place your frilly bands to the very outside. And do that. Just like that. So, I'll do a little less talking, and I'll try and go a little bit faster. So, your frilly, then your fuchsia. Then again, your frilly, then gray, and repeat. So I'm going to do this until I reach the top of my loom. I'm going to try and get there pretty fast, but I don't know yet if I'll be able to get there fast enough. Oops. Oops. Make sure you are placing the bands in the exact correct order because it does matter in the looping and in how your bracelet looks. Sometimes if you place it the wrong way you won't get the frilly parts. So just so that you know. So my dad just got home and the garage is opening so I'm not sure if you can hear that but it's like a really loud humming noise. I always forget to place these like outer frilly bands before I place the gray ones. So make sure that you're doing it right.
Oops. Also, make sure that you stay consistent with the band that you place first because it will be very important when you loop. It just kind of makes your bands look different if you loop it differently. So my peg here, I forgot to fix this um, base thing and make it look better. So this end pin out here is going to like suck in to the center. Oops. That's what happens when you don't place a band on the peg right. It'll fly off. And so slowly this will just like come together and I forgot to fix it unfortunately so I will have to kind of work around it because the bands out here get really like loose when I do that so just for future reference if you have your loom like this don't ever have it like this because it's such a pain to get around so you will place these regularly one last time and place the gray. Oops. It's hard to get this one around this pin. Okay, once you reach the end, all you're going to do is take a band from the outside now going to the inside. So this one's like really loose. And then you're going to take a, another band, take your hook, cap it, and place it on these last two pegs here just like that. So now we can start the looping process. So turn your loom around so that the arrows are pointing towards you and my um, loom is like really bent together in the middle. So to start the looping you're going to go underneath of the capping band, grab the top band, loop it out to itself. This one it is such a short, short stretch that, and then this one goes out to the outside now you're going to go back in the capping band and grab the band that's on the bottom of this gray band of the two. So mine's on the left and you're just going to pull it straight forward. So you're not going to pull it back to itself, you're just going to pull it straight up. And on the right, which is the top band, you'll pull it straight as well. Now what you're going to do is go inside of this, um, this border kind of created cap band over here grab the fuchsia and pull it to itself. Again on the other side grab the fuchsia pull it to itself. Now go inside of where you just put the fuchsia band and you're going to go underneath a couple of bands. You're going to go underneath the gray and the fuchsia. You're going to try to at least. It's very difficult for me to see from here. Grab your border or your frilly band, pull it out. Repeat on the other side it out. And now we have this band in the middle and we're going to do something weird with it. So grab it from here, pull it over to this pin, release it, then find the other side of that band, grab it and pull it back to the other side. I'm trying to get it on this pin. And so this will create this little thing in the middle here and it'll look like that in the back. So, just so that you know. Then again, you're going to go in here, grab that gray band, pull it up, just straight up, then go to the bottom. I'm trying to find my other gray band. I cannot see it. Oh, probably because I'm in the wrong side. No, I'm not. Never mind. And just pull that straight up. I'm sorry, I'm really confused today. <laughs> then go in with the fuchsia and pull it to itself. Again, pull the fuchsia to itself. So I'm going to set my loom down just so this will, this will be a little bit easier. Pull the frilly band to the outside. Then grab this band, pull it over to itself. 
Then push back those bands until you find the next half of it or the other part of it. And attempt, wow, bleh, I really can't talk today, wow. And pull it to itself, grab the gray band, pull it forward, make sure you're always grabbing the bottom band first. Then loop the fuchsia in to itself. Also, you can take these bands off at the bottom and also on here too. I just like to do it before I take my um, bracelet off the loom so that it doesn't stress out the bands as much. So I'll show you one more time. So you pull the frilly band to the outside. Then grab this other band, same color as the frilly band. Pull it over to itself, go inside and pull it back over to itself. Go in the left, which is the bottom one, gray for me. Pull it straight up. Grab the other, pull it straight up, grab the fuchsia from underneath those, and pull it into itself, and pull these off. So, you're just going to do this until you reach the end of your loom. I'm going to go a little bit faster now and not talk, like, not talk through it, but if you still need help, you can rewind the video. I'll only talk if something like this comes up where I almost lost my band. Oh, that's not good. If the band like pops off like this, you just put it back on the peg and then continue looping as normal. And if I go too fast, you can always pause, but I don't think I go super fast when I loop. I just don't feel like I go fast when I loop, I guess. Okay, so once you get to the top and you've looped those, you're not going to loop them out. Instead, you're just going to grab this band from underneath this one gray. 
oops, so grab the gray, grab the frilly band and loop it in on both sides. Then take the gray off so that you don't stress it out. Then go to the bottom, grab that band, kind of hold on to it, grab the other side, and you will take this off. The first one can be kind of difficult, but the rest should be fairly easy to just pull off. So as you can see, this is the back side, this is the front side, and I'm really pleased with how this turned out because I really love these colors together. You can definitely see the difference in all of the colors. So that's how you make this bracelet, and that's it. You also attach a C-clip here, and here if you have an extension, make an extension. And yeah. So, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to check me out on Instagram. I'll have my links in the description box below. I also have my email there in case you want to contact me for whatever reason. And that's it. I hope to see you next time.